Let's make some pasta. All right, so we're gonna start with 150 grams of prosciutto di parma, but maybe grab yourself a little bit more as you're gonna find yourself eating it. Stack your thin slices of prosciutto di parma on top of one another, and then roll it up like a cigar, and then we're gonna slice into thin strips. You may have to use your hand to break up the pieces a bit. You're gonna end up with nice prosciutto strips that we're gonna fry up. And then smash one clove of garlic, and then finally grate a 40 gram snowy little mountain of Parmigiano Reggiano. And then grab one cup or 140 grams of frozen peas. Now for the ricotta. I wasn't able to find freshly made ricotta, which is what I would suggest. A lot of bakeries have fresh warm ricotta in the mornings, which is one of the best things ever. So if you can't, just find a good quality grocery store ricotta like I did. And then we're gonna scoop out about 350 grams worth and then we're gonna add the Parmigiano Reggiano to the ricotta, add the zest of half or one lemon, depending on your tastes, and then the juice of half or one lemon, depending on your tastes. Season with salt and freshly cracked pepper, and then just give a mix. In a dry pan on low to medium heat, we're gonna add the prosciutto strips and cook until crispy, moving the strips around with a wooden spoon. You'll see that the pan will get sticky bits stuck to it, and that's called fawn. And we will release all that when we add the rest of the ingredients. You want this to happen as it's all flavor that gets released into the pasta sauce. When the prosciutto is about halfway done cooking, you can start the pasta. Salt a large pot of boiling water, add your spaghetti and cook until just before al dente as we're gonna finish cooking the pasta in the sauce. When the prosciutto is done, you can remove some from the pan for garnish if you like. Then we're gonna add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, the garlic clove and chili flakes for some heat. And just continue cooking as that garlic is gonna infuse its flavor into the oil. Add a small ladle of pasta water to the ricotta and mix it up to create a nice smooth consistency. When the pasta is ready, remove the garlic clove or leave it in for a surprise for someone. And then we're gonna add the pasta to the pan along with a ladle of pasta water and it's time for La Mantecatura, mixing and tossing to form our sauce, adding more pasta water if needed. Let's add the peas, mix and toss. And now it's time for the ricotta mixture. When this gets added, the pasta is gonna tighten up a bit, so you may have to add more pasta water. Mix and toss until everything is mixed in and everything is smooth and creamy. This is a dish that should be served immediately as the ricotta will continue to tighten up as it sits. And then we're gonna plate it up, garnish with some of the sauce, any of those crispy prosciutto strips if you save some, and then freshly cracked pepper and bring it to the table. This is a nice, well-balanced pasta dish. The saltiness of the crispy prosciutto, the sweetness of the peas, the creaminess of the ricotta. Can't go wrong. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.